Hello everyone, today I will be sharing with you my next project for Crafty Me Shop on Facebook and this time it is a heart shaped journal and a pocket that I've made and it only just fits in the screen. I can't get that any further back at the moment so I'm, I'll do the best I can. Um, and I've used some beautiful pieces from Esme's store today. I will just take the journal out of the pocket so you can see. Uh, first of all the starting point was this beautiful applique piece that she sent and I just love that and wanted to showcase that and it's it's kind of it's got a heart shape I would think and so I've put it onto a pocket and I've just used this pillowcase. Some of you may have seen my thrifting video recently and I got a couple of um, embroidered pillowcases well I did tea stain them up and that's what I've used on here to make this uh, it's like a wall hanging pocket I have like a coat hanger in the back there to give it sturdiness all the way across the top to hold it and then a pocket um, either for the journal or to put things in and so that's the applique and then I've gone all the way around the edge with this gorgeous trim. It's got leaf shapes on it and it is a double sided trim and I cut it down the center so there was enough to go around and gather around the whole heart. And then on top of that I have put this beautiful delicate flower trim. I absolutely love that trim. It's so whimsical and pretty and that's all stitched together and then across the top of the pocket I've just scrunched up some of the sari silk to finish the top of that off and this is a, like a shabby old world well used kind of look um, so that's the pocket that I've made and now let me show you the journal to go in it uh, the cover is made out of the same pillowcase fabric and then I have this this is actually from the pillowcase as well as this one here. It's just the part that wasn't embroidered so I just ripped it into strips and gathered it and put it all the way around. I have made a little heart for the front and I've put two of these little applique pieces from Esme's store and underneath them I've put a little bit of tool to pop them up a little bit and then let me just And these pieces here are from this beautiful trim. And then around the bottom and the top, I have used different parts of this lovely lace here. So that part there goes around the top and this part here is the bottom part of that. And then I have the beautiful flower applique in the center there. And Underneath is just all the little scraps that I've been um, saving from my projects for Crafty Me Shop and I've just made a little um, like a crazy quilting heart on top and you'll see that dimension there. And this um, journal is just made out of a cereal box, a cornflake box. On the side here I have the lace that Esme sent, isn't it beautiful, it's so delicate. And the beautiful beaded um, tassel that she sent as well and I've got that hanging off the side of the spine. Now this is done in almost like a traveller's notebook style with the elastic system. I just thought it would be nice to do it that way. That way once one little signature has been finished I can insert another one as well. At the front there I have a pocket. Now this is from Esme's store but it uh, was one I purchased prior to my um, design package and the inside is just lined with fabric and as you can see just lots of messy stitching to hold it all together. This paper and the other signature papers is the Kayser Craft and it is the Antique Essentials and so I've tea stained those pages up and I'll just do a very quick flip through. This is more a notebook than a journal 
um, there's no pockets in it there's no tuck spots there's no tags or anything it's simply for writing in so I will just quickly go through I've used tulle and I've done stitching on just about every page there's fabric inserted for strength and they're all the off cuts from the things I've been making so let's just quickly go through as you will see there's a couple of different types of pages oh and there's those lovely little daisies that I got in my design package as well so graph paper tea stain paper music paper lots of sari, little bits of sari silk and um, some zigzag stitching and plain stitching and that's the center with the elastic and then we go back the other way so it's actually very plain inside the little book um, because I find that's what I I seem to use in my in my notebooks and journals and this is the center one and that's the paper there oh there's some tatting on this one as well and so it's pretty much the same inside and the cover is made oh probably just like the little doily book tutorial I did and I'll put a link to that in the description box below also apart from the elastics in it anyway but the spine the spine and the covers are made like the little doily books the little round ones so there we go I love the messiness of it that's just it really appeals to me it's very you know tactile I think the word is some of that delicate lace there more little daisy flowers and just the last little bits of that beautiful delicate trim done there we go it's the last one and then right at the back I just have a little snippet clip holding a little um, scrap of lace and a little notepad because I didn't put a pocket on the back there um, and I just wanted that page to look a little bit pretty so I'll just keep that there it doesn't get in the way because that's where the heart the center of the heart is and I don't like big chunky things and I've made it so that it just hangs on my drawer on my desk here so when I put it in there like that it just hangs on the drawer of my desk it doesn't get in the way on my desk but it's very very pretty to look at and it is nice to feel you know it just it feels good and I'm going to really enjoy you know jotting all my things down in this particular notebook so I hope you like what I've made and I forgot to mention last week when um, I showed you my design team project Esme has asked me to join the design team on a permanent basis and I have said yes and I'm very excited about that because I absolutely love the trims and the laces and the appliques and things that she sells so um, thank you for that Esme I've thoroughly enjoyed working with this and I will have another um, pro project to share with you next week as well so take care everybody Bye-bye.